Hi, good afternoon. This is Zena at Wealth and Success Enterprises. Good afternoon. God bless you guys. YouTube uh, family, YouTube friends, YouTube subscribers. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Just want to say hello to you guys. Just want to share something. I was reading today, studying my study time, and I was reading in second chronicles and it was regarding king asa and he is in the bloodline of king david and solomon so i think he was uh Rehoboam's son so what i gather from this story is what he wanted what he wanted to do was take over someone else's empire, someone else's land, someone else's development. He was already successful. Uh, God has saw that his heart was good, so God prospered him. And so what he did was he had contacted, reached out to another king. And this king was from Syria. And he had told this king I need you to be in alliance with me and I need you to go and besiege and take over um, this other king's um, empower, empire. And so God was not pleased with that. God was not pleased with Asa or Asa's doings because what he did was not right and God saw that so God had sent a prophet a seer to tell him that God's eyes have been to and fro in the land and the earth and he sees what you have done and what you have done was against everything with which God stands for taking somebody else's empire going in and taking their robbing the stores in the community because this other king this other king was building building up a wall so his his empire would be enclosed so he wouldn't be so the people in his in his land wouldn't have to go in and out and be next to the other king's land which was asa so asa saw that this king was trying to build this wall or bulwark which is a wall and so he got upset and so God said no -uh. no what you have done is evil it's evil in your heart and so God had sent the seer and and told him everything that he had done and so King Asa got upset with the prophet prophet and the seer threw him in prison put him in prison a prison house and he was very upset and he threw some other people in there because he was upset because truth was meeting him in his face because what he had done was not right in God's eyes and so because he was disobedient and didn't seek the Lord you know for help he went and made made an alliance with someone else so God had called his feet to get diseased. His feet had become diseased, so he was not able to do his normal uh, daily activities, maybe to walk and get around. And so and he went to seek a physician, but he still not go to God and repent and ask God to heal him, ask God to forgive him for what he did, you know, going and robbing somebody else, land, taking their goods and their riches, you, just because you be, just because you're upset because somebody else is prospering and rising up that's how things are today when once somebody see that you are becoming successful and you're rising up and you're making making provisions for yourself that the somebody going the spirit of jealousy is going to rise up in in them and it also says that jealousy as is evil as cruel as the grave jealousy is cruel as the grave and so because of that um he got 
jealousy in his heart and said, no, 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 we're we going to prevent him and stop this man from what, he, from what he's doing. And so with God and, and this right here, reading that story, it just, it just touched my heart, my heart and just makes, making my faith even the more stronger in God. It just is convicting me. My conviction in him is just stronger because these stories that I read in the Bible, you know, this is it's true. I, I believe every, I believe everything in the Word of God. I believe God is real. I've had an experience with Him to let me know, yeah, that there is something else, higher, superior, transcendent than what I feel in this earthly realm. So I know God, Jesus Christ, is real. He's real. He's real. Real, real, Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, He gives me the victory. So many people doubt Him, but I can't live without Him. And that is why I love him so, he's so real to me. Oh, he's real, real, Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, he gives me the victory. So many people doubt him, but I can't live without him. That is why I love him so, because he's so real to me. God bless you. Be encouraged. Be, in, be, be strengthened by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is real. He is real, real, real. So get to know him. If you don't know him, if you don't know the our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I want to reach out to you and extend an invitation to be saved by the blood of Jesus, to be saved. Salvation is here. If you want to receive Jesus Christ in your heart, just open up your heart and repeat after me. I, Lord, forgive me of my sins. I repent. Lord, I accept you as Jesus Christ in my heart. I believe that the Son of God died, that he rose again from the dead, and I'm a believer. I accept Jesus today in my heart, and I'm going to be and I want to be baptized with the power of the Holy Ghost and the in the in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we just thank you today. I pray that somebody is saved today, that somebody will reach out and lift their hands up and say, God, that I want to be saved today. Be encouraged. I'm praying for you. Have a blessed and wonderful evening. I will talk to you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, like this video, share, subscribe. Thank you. And thank you for all the people that I have met. And they have told me that they subscribe. God bless you. Thank you. I love you guys with the love of Jesus. I'm praying you'll strengthen the Lord. I'm praying my strength in the Lord. We're going to win. We are winners. And we are wealth and success, success builders. God bless. Take care.